What's up, fam? This your boy, Cut to the Chase TV. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and be sure to share this video. I got some news for you Negroes today. Oblock 6 has been found guilty of killing FBG Duck, and I'm not surprised, and neither should you. I'm seeing all these bloggers make videos. They are distraught. They flabbergasted. They befuddled. They can't seem to fathom how Oblock 6 was found guilty of killing FBG Duck. And I'm like, damn, where the hell y'all guys been at? Y'all been covering this trial day in and day out, and you mean to tell me that you are honestly shocked that the Oblock 6 has been found guilty? They left evidence everywhere. They left all type of evidence. They left fingerprints, cell phones evidence video evidence facetime evidence voicemail evidence any type of evidence you can name they left so i'm not surprised that they was found guilty that's why i didn't cover the trial i'm seeing bloggers cover the trial they cover it like it's the damn oj trial i'm like this is an open and shut case they will be found guilty i can solve this case they made it too easy they was too thirsty to get dug and i'm looking at the case i'm like damn it was six of y'all that's how dumb y'all niggas is. It was six people involved in this case, and then nobody have common sense. Then nobody stopped to think, hey man, this is not a good idea. Let's get him another time. He's at the Gold Coast. So you mean to tell me TZ called all six of y'all was like, Duck is here, and y'all all agreed. Was it no critical thinker? Was it no contrarian? See, that's the problem with you gangs. It's too many yes men. You always need that one friend that's going to talk everybody off the ledge. You need that one friend with common sense. You need that one gangster that got a little bit of morality that's going to say, Hey, man, this is not a good idea. I care about my freedom. I care about your freedom. I would have been wrestling the keys for motherfuckers. Y'all ain't finna go down there i'm that type of friend you need that type of dude in your crew but it seemed like old block was a bunch of yes men they went down there got fbg dug all on camera at the gold coast without a carrying the rail slid in their own cars i'm like damn how stupid can you get how dumb can you get and the more the messed up thing about it they actually thought they had a chance of getting away with it. They doing interviews after the hit. They mocking FBG Duck. And I'm like, damn. And I'm no gang member, so somebody help me out here. Why did Oblock send out the big dogs on this dummy crash mission? I thought they were supposed to send out the young dudes, people in the crew that's trying to make a name for themselves. Why did they send Moo Wop and see murder on this dumb ass mission? Hit up FBG Duck at the Gold Coast and they actually thought they were gonna get away with it. Moo Wop, you actually thought you were gonna be involved in something like this and have a prosperous rap career. C Murder, you thought the same thing. You really thought this was a good idea. And y'all ain't young, y'all old enough to know. You know right from wrong at 20 and 21 years old. I don't wanna hear that they just babies. They didn't know no better. They was manipulated. Nah, man, you a grown ass man. I'm not hearing none of that. I'm not buying none of that. And they left all type of evidence, and you still got people making excuses for them. You still got people saying they are innocent. Oblot did not kill Doug. The police is trying to blame them. They have been framed. If you don't shut your ass up, you seen all the evidence they got against them. I know we seen Oblock in court. They look real good in court. They got the suit on. They showing mannerisms. Yes, ma'am. Voice got real light. It, it tripped me out about these gangsters. Out on the streets, they growling at niggas, mean mugging niggas, chasing people from bus stops, pulling people off the bus, committing violence against everybody around them. But once they get in front of that judge, they talking about some yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, your honor. They know how to behave themselves then. They voice get real light. They start talking like Michael Jackson. Hell, they even start acting like Michael Jackson. And I understand why. They want their freedom. They fighting for their lives right now. Don't nobody want to spend the rest of their lives in a cell with Bubba. So they trying to do anything they can to put on a good image so they can possibly be found not guilty. But it ain't going to happen. And it didn't happen. Everybody know what you guys are about. Everybody knew you dudes was gangster. Now you got some people making excuses for you. You got some people naive. Why we gotta act surprised every time gangsters do gangster stuff? They rap about gangster stuff. They diss the dead. So why in the hell would we think they'll be above taking out FBG Duck at the Gold Coast? I'm not one of those stupid people. I don't believe these guys are innocent at all. I know they was guilty. The jury got it right. It is what it is. And we got to stop making excuses for gangsters. That's the problem with our community. We always trying to give gangsters a way out. We give them a million excuses. It's their upbringing. It's the music they listen to. It's the single mothers. No, sometimes you just got to be a decent human being to know not to kill a motherfucker. I'm going to spare this dude life. I ain't gonna take them out. That ain't rocket science. We gotta stop acting like not killing a motherfucker is rocket science. So yeah, man, we just gotta raise the standard. We just gotta raise the bar in our community. Did you know that King Von is a documented hitter in the drill culture? Everybody know he got a couple of bodies. But can you believe that people actually tried to turn him into a saint? 
<laughs> people tried to overanalyze what he did and try to make it seem like he was doing a good deed when he was on camera passing out money to O Block. I seen people comment, oh, King Von is such a good dude. He's helping the community. He ain't helping the community. He's feeding the killers. Do you think he just went to O Block and gave random people money? Do you think he just invited random people in that room and just say, hey, man, here's you some money. Here's you some money. No, you had to be close to him to get that money, and you had to be a known hitter. You had to put in that work to get that money. It's a well-known fact. King Bong ain't just giving no anybody money. Take a look at this video, y'all. Let's go. That shit came. I told you not to. Oh, oh, no. Bitch ass. About to slow in the house with the mop. <laughs> she coming or not. Great. So in this video, King Von got a duffel bag full of money and he's passing it to O Block. He's giving him money, he's giving him money. And I wanna ask you guys a question. What did you think these dudes did to deserve that money? Do you think he was just looking out for the homies? Or do you think he was feeding them hitters? Do you think you had to be a person, a certain statue to get in there? Let me know in that comment section, but I'm gonna play this video. <laughs> you know, you know, I might wipe you something nice now. Who I look, uh, uh, yeah, gang, huh? Gang, where my little strain I'm at? Pause, you turn up. I have a car, I'm gonna stop passing shit off here. So King Von is in a room with other criminals. He's passing out money and people made it seem like he was doing charity work. People made it seem like he was a philanthropy. People made it seem like he was walking to old ladies across the street, bringing up old ladies groceries. Oh, King Von is so sweet. Why? By feeding the killers? By feeding the hitters? By sending people out on missions? By putting that money on FBG Duck allegedly? That's all I'm saying. Let's not overanalyze what King Von did. He was a boss in O-Block, and he was feeding his under crew. He didn't give a damn about your average person. He didn't give a damn about people who wasn't a thug, who wasn't a gangster. Not everybody in O-Block are criminals. Do you think King Bond gave them some money? Hell no. You had to be a hitter. You had to be of his stature to get in that room, to get that money. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think the bigger the bankroll was he gave to you, the more bodies you got. That's just my opinion. That's just my hypothesis. I know how King Bond get down. The bigger the bankroll, the more he liked you. And that means you put in that work. He always rapped about Muwap. Muwap did this. Muwap did that. So I was surprised when I seen Muwap in court talking. I said, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. And let that be a lesson learned to all you gangsters. Everybody wants the street cred. Everybody want to be popular in them streets. But when it's time to face that judge, when he get lonely at night sitting in that cell, you gonna want your freedom bad. You gonna be wondering what your girl doing. Your mama gonna be crying, calling you every night, talking about she miss you. You need to snitch. Your daddy gonna be scolding you, talking about you should have listened to him. You don't wanna hear all that shit. So change your life right now. It ain't too late. If you in the streets, I advise you to get about the streets. I know what people say, man. Once you in the streets, it's hard to leave. You just can't leave the streets like that, nigga. Move to another city. Don't nobody want your ass that bad that they gonna follow you across country to get you. Move your ass to another city if you got beef like that. It's always options. It's always ways out. Y'all be acting like y'all just stuck in the streets. Hey, cut, man. The streets ain't really like that, man. Once you dedicated to the streets, you gotta die in the streets. Hell no. You can get out of the gang. Most gang members are poor. You say, F this gang, I'm out of here, and you move your ass to another city. It ain't got to be far away. They don't want your ass that bad. They don't want you as a member that bad. Most gang members look at it like this. If you want to leave, you want to jump ship, fine, go ahead. They ain't just chasing you down, making you be down with them. You choose to be down with them. Stop talking to people like they stupid. We all know what's going on, but let's continue. <laughs> See, he gave the people in the back a stack of money, and he said, y'all got to split that. See, them people that he gave that money to, they ain't really on nothing. They some little young shorties. Key Von just gave them some money to make them feel good, buy a couple of clothes, buy a couple of JaVinci shirts. So he's like, hey, y'all split that. Get the hell out of my face. But watch who he give the big stacks of money to. Let's go. Hit on number one. 
You see C murder, you see Muwap, they got big stacks of money. He gave everybody else a little money, but he gave Muwap that big ass stack of money. And he always referenced Muwap in his songs. When Key Von speaks, I tend to believe him. He ain't lied to me yet. He said he got bodies. He said he was a hitter. Everything he rapped about was true. So when he say Muwap got a body, I tend to believe him. All those times he rapped about Muwap sliding, I tend to believe it. So Muwap didn't really stand a chance. I know he hired a lawyer. I know he tried to fight this case. He put up a good fight, but nigga, it wasn't good enough. It wasn't convincing. You can say yes, ma'am, all you want. But we know what you was doing when you was out here in these streets. You was a menace to society. And it's sad that you find yourself in the MBG Dub murder case because your rap career was taken off. You were getting millions of views on YouTube. You should have had will and enough power to say, I'm not going on this mission. Y'all can go on it. I done proved myself. Kibana referenced me in plenty of songs. What the hell I got to prove going on this mission? Moobop should have sat that one out. I'm going to just be real with you guys. And they say if King Bond was still alive, he would have been indicted and charged and ultimately convicted as well. So King Bond would have had about two or three bodies he's fighting he would have had a assault charge so King Bond was finished any way ago even if he didn't get killed in Atlanta even if Lil Tim didn't take him out he was finished he would have been on jail fighting two bodies uh, attempt all type of stuff so yeah man King Bond narrowly escaped the Oblot Rico because he would have been indicted as well he would have been the main target and everybody was saying Lil Dirk might be indicted I don't know. I think they probably investigated Lil Durk. I probably think they probably thought about putting Lil Durk in the Rico. But I think they just decided not right now. Lil Durk is reckless. He'll mess up. We'll get him somewhere down the line. So just because they didn't charge Lil Durk, that don't mean they ain't going to charge him later down the road. That's all I'm saying. Just because they ain't charged now, don't mean he won't be charged later. Because look and think about the FBG Duck murder case. Who did THFTZ call when he spotted Duck. He called Lil Dirk brother D Thang. He spoke with D Thang, got on the phone with O Block. They orchestrated the plan. They drove down there, took out Duck. Everybody's get arrested. D Thang gets killed. And I'm starting to think he got killed in retaliation for the little um for the MPG Duck hit. That's what I think.